Okay, in this video, we're going to cover the basics of uh, shifting up the manual transmission as you're driving along. So this car, uh, like many of them, um, is equipped with what they call an H-pattern shifter. And they call it that because the way that shifter gets moved around the gears um, kind of forms, in a sense, sort of an H-pattern. Um, all right, so the way an upshift is going to work is you'll be driving around in one of the gears, and you can see from the pattern here on the gear shifter uh, where all the gears are. And you don't, of course, look down at that while you're driving. You kind of look down at it when you first buy the car, get used to it, and then you know what it is, and from then it's on a feel. So I'll take an example of an upshift. We're driving along. The lever is in the second gear position. Um, again, just to review the way the shifter works is the middle here is neutral. You can tell when you're in neutral because you can move the shifter left and right all the way. When you're in one of the gears, it won't want to move. And of course, when you're in one of the gears, it'll be either back like this or forward like that if it's uh, in, in one of the forward gears uh, or the gears that kind of face forward like first, third, and fifth. Um, so, <clears throat> so you're driving along in a gear. And the way the gear uh, change is going to work is, let's start with your feet. I've taken my shoes off just to make this a little bit more clear. Is your uh, foot's going to be on the gas pedal. Hopefully you're not flying along at a million miles an hour, so hard enough just to keep your speed you know, accelerating gently. And your left foot should always be resting off of the pedal. Uh, this is to make sure you don't wear the clutch too much. Um, some people are in the habit of kind of leaving their foot like this. That's a bad idea. Um, they've, this manufacturer, Mazda, has left us an actual, what we call a dead pedal, which is a foot rest specifically to encourage you not to leave your foot resting here. If you leave it resting like that, you're going to wear out a part of the clutch called the throwout bearing. So you're driving along in second gear. You're accelerating gently with your right foot, and you're ready for a gear change. And the first thing that you'll do is you'll go ahead and... and uh, simultaneously, more or less at the same time, you're going to let the gas off and push the clutch pedal in. And uh, when you're doing a gear change, you clutch, push the clutch pedal in until it stops all the way to the end. So now your foot's near the gas pedal but not putting any pressure on it. Clutch is all the way down. And then what your hands are going to do at that same moment is they're going to go ahead and move, in this case, from second to third. So we'll go ahead and push it out of second gently into third. There it just sort of moved itself to the middle and, and, uh, and forward. And then once that's done and you're in third, then you're going to let the pedal, the clutch pedal out and uh, as it comes out you're just going to very gently apply the gas. Um, this is one of those points where you don't want to have a bad habit. Let me show you what a bad habit would look like. Let's say we're doing the gear change and what you can do is you can start pushing the gas down a lot while you let the pedal out. And when you do that, you'll actually hear the engine rev, and it'll slip the clutch. And in a later video, I'll demonstrate that so you can see it happen. Um, again, that's going to wear the clutch faster than you want it to, to happen. Um, so instead, what it should look like is driving along in second, clutch pedal goes in, foot comes off the gas, I move the lever to third, and then when I'm ready to take that uh, clutch back out, I let it out, and then only when it's almost all the way out do I gently apply gas again. So what you don't see there is this gas on, clutch out. Instead what you see is clutch out, gas on. Okay, it's, and they're really almost at the same time as you get more practiced about it. Alright, so the speed that this occurs looks more like this. Something like that. That's what it's going to look like in practice when you get good at it. Um, in general, uh, especially on downshifts, which we'll cover later, but on upshifts, you don't want the lever to move very fast. That, that again, is the type of thing that will wear it. And you're gonna, the car is actually going to communicate with you. It's going to tell you how fast it's comfortable moving the lever based on how much resistance there is. If you watch my hand do a shift, you see how it pauses for a moment? And that's just because the mechanics inside the transmission need a little time to synchronize the gear speeds together. And so a good upshift gear speed would look like this. Just like that. Nice and smooth. Like so. So you don't want to go unless you're racing. You know, that, that kind of thing is going to beat up the gearbox. So, you know, in first gear you start, you go to second, that's what it looks like. Third, driving along, don't rest your hand on the shifter. That's going to wear out some other parts that are in there. So again, keep your hand, be in the habit of not having your hand resting there. So you only operate, you have your hand on the shifter to operate it. Fourth gear, like so. That's a nice smooth motion there. And that'll make, mean the transmission um, lasts a long time. 
Uh, next, I'll demonstrate what it sounds like when you do a slip clutch upshift, the sound that you want to avoid.